Hi, Sandy. This is uh, uh, Pastor King. Uh, I apologize. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to create this video for you and all those who may get to it uh, at a later time. But uh, I'm not. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do here is demonstrate how to uh, create a foreign key inside of the SQL Server Management Studio. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to bring up your designer. So you go to View and you go to Toolbars. And let's bring up the Query Designer. And let's mount that here. And let's also bring up our um, view for our designer. Okay. And the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, create a new query. All right. Now that we got the query com uh, created, we have our designer that shows up and some of the other things that show up. This is our database uh, that we are using. And uh, basically what we want to do is we want to use this to create our uh, foreign key. Now one of the things that we didn't do was create the foreign key, so we need to do that first. Let's go right click on employee and hit design. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to create a foreign key that reference the job uh, title ID here with the, let me open up this job title, um, with the primary key in our job title table. Okay. So to do that, uh, basically what we want to do is uh, we have to select naturally our our uh, table designer, and then we go to relationships. So let's go to table designer. Let's choose relationships, and on our add button, uh, we want to click that. Now uh, it'll fill out it'll partially fill out the dialog box and open you know something that it thinks that you want so what we want to do is expand the tables and columns specification field and by clicking on the plus and uh, click on the newly visible ellipsis and uh, here is where you will define the tables and columns that you want to make up your foreign key relationship Hit the drop down, scroll down to job title ID, and then this one is correct. So we click OK. Okay, we got the same error. I think I know what my problem is. I need to close this table because this table is the one that I need to set up. So now let's go to designer. I'm not going to take this error out because I I want everybody to see this because you may run into the same problem. It's been a while since I've done this. Okay, this is correct. So my primary key and my foreign key. So I want my job title here, and this is going to be my. Um, well, this is backwards. Okay, so we just created our uh, foreign key. So any changes, let me close this. So any changes made uh, to our um, table here for the job title will be reflected inside of our employee table. So let me save that real fast. The following table will be saved, continue, yes. So both of those tables are now saved with the changes, the relationship. Okay. I hope that helped. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close this.